third. You're gonna have a very promising uh, final. Actually, the first leg of the Lam Men's Challenger Cup Ladies final here in Istanbul. Then the venue, the Kalamish and the Mora Pool, and uh, the second edition of the Lam Challenger Cup in the men's uh, competition. Uh, we come to the end uh, this month. The first leg between Galatasaray of Turkey and the Friend of Slovenia. I have a co-commentator next to me, an expert, a real expert, and that's uh, really an honor to meet you. Uh, welcome you here, also Dan, uh, former international team member and also former player of the Galatasaray. How are you today? Hi, right, Tamas. I'm very well, thank you. Thank you for your very nice words. And I'm very excited to be in this great final of this great competition everybody i think up, up, upstairs full crowd everybody waiting for this great game yeah this is the challenger cup and uh, this is a uh, competition now uh, for those teams who represent nations uh, outside the top 12 in europe but that means a uh, big opportunity and a big chance for them to, to reach at least a uh, big level uh, in the I think this is an unbelievable initiative because, of course, everybody wants to go to the top. When you do this sport, particularly a sport like water polo, which is almost kind of a torture, you know, it's a very difficult one. So you have to go step by step. And I think this Challenger Cup gives these teams out of the top 12 a, a great opportunity to get prepared to play competitive games between themselves so the best and better teams can get closer and closer first to land trophy and perhaps the Champions League in the future. Yeah, so just a uh, route to the final, just some uh, information for you. There was a qualification round uh, and actually one of the qualification tournaments uh, was held here in Istanbul. Yes. That was about the host team beating Novaki uh, of Slovakia, Polytechnic Motor Club of Great Britain. Also, uh, actually, three very comfortable victories for yes. the Turkish team. And then uh, they beat Valet of Malta. Valet of course, have a lot of players. Uh, yes, play. yeah. Solid team. Yeah, so two good games once again. Uh, double victory for. So far, yeah. So far, so good. I mean, I have, I can say, I have watched almost every single game of the season. We were to, including the away games in Malta and Lithuania, and because the coach Petja is my old teammate, so and the, the team manager also team Halim. Halim. Yes, exactly, Mihailovic and Halim. So we were always together. So the team, not only that they have won the games, but I think they have played better and better water polo up until now. But the particular game in Lithuania was a dramatic one. With that, we won the, with that goal two seconds before the end of the match. So there was an amazing excitement. So yeah, so far so good, I have to say. Yeah, we will talk about uh, these memories and former yes. teammates, of course, Predak Mihailovic, Halil Beskar Deskler, and other. Uh, great guys of uh, international water polo, but uh, now about the uh, Triglav Prime, the Slovenian team, uh, it's been all about them. I mean, uh, in the last couple of years, most of the titles in Slovenia were won by Triglav, and uh, they give a lot of members to the Slovenian national team as well. And the Slovenian yeah. team also participated uh, this year in the European Championship. They started the qualification round, and it was uh, more difficult for them because they finished behind Swiss team Kreislingen. And they needed a good goal difference uh, because they had a freeway a tie between uh, Vitoria, Portuguese, and Triglav, three teams, all have, uh, having uh, six points. But Triglav had the better goal no difference. difference. So somehow they managed to qualify for the quarterfinals. But they beat another Swiss team, Tarud Matasio. And then in the semi final, I mean, a dramatic victory. Dramatic, uh, yeah. I mean, one goal victory at home against Kreuzlingen. And they were 9-3 down. Yes, we followed the game. Unbelievable. We were following by live score. I, I, wasn't, I didn't have a chance yeah, to check too. on YouTube. We said, OK, we're going to Kreuzlingen then for the final. And then we don't know what happened. They even turned the score. So it was dramatic. Nine, nine in the end. So seven goals in a row. Epic, epic turnover. Line. Yes, epic turnover. Bravo. I mean, Trek Dark Run is a team of water polo culture, you know. 
they've been in this for many years. When I was a player, we played. I think the only two games that Galatasaray and Kuran before today played in the European Cups, they were in the EuroLeague qualifications. We won one, we lost one. Uh, one. And so they are at, to meet here? Yeah, it was in, I think, the season 2005, 2006, or maybe, or maybe one before. We played in Budapest with the, the first match, the first round. We won comfortably, but chance, we, we got drawn again in the next group stage, which was in Kran, and we lost. So, uh, no, mixed but it's memories. mixed memories, absolutely. So, uh, it's a great water polo club. We have so much respect to Kran, so I'm sure it's going to be a great game today. Yeah, uh, let's talk about the possible key players. Of course, there are yes. a couple of uh, players who were present at the 2020 European Championship. That was yes. the last occasion, unfortunately, when the Turkish team participated. Yes. Uh, just like Kan uh, Kil, yes. the great goalkeeper. Also, Fatih Achar yes. was also there. I remember him. Jan Janer. Uh, Jan uh, team, as well as uh, Senemoru, the number 11. Yes. We have the great captain, Hulenc, uh, so the Slovenian has to, um, I mean, take care about these. Uh, yes, and players. these players have also put a lot, particularly, I have to say, the goalkeeper, Kaan Kil. Okay, I used to be a goalkeeper, so maybe I have a positive... Uh, uh, <laughs> so fanatic. Yes, remember, yes, yes. No? no, but if he gets uh, his rhythm, like he did in, 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 in Lithuania in the semi-final first leg, it gets, it gets very complicated to score against him. So, yeah, I mean, he, he develops every other year. And Fatih also, he developed his game. So, and there are some upcoming uh, talents in Galatasaray as well, like Efen Aybolu. You know, he is now, uh, I think, 17 years old, but he is also playing. And it's a player to watch carefully as well. It's an interesting player. Yes. Yeah. And you said that uh, his father was also great. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, he was a goalkeeper also like I was. We were good rivals. And, he, you know, he was very good goalkeeper he was. So his son also is becoming a very good water polo player. Uh, regarding the Slovenian team, uh, we have a total of six players uh, in today's squad who participated also in January at the European Championship. They played in Dubrovnik, actually. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, the captain, the goalkeeper, the first choice goalkeeper, Jure Beton, uh, was also there. Nikola Rajlic, Alexander Pangnovic, as well as Jan Justin, Ayas Tropan, and Alexander Cera. We have a couple of players missing uh, for different reasons. Uh, Yashala, one of their uh, best goal scorers, uh, was uh, really good uh, the European Championship as well, missing, as well as Andar Kushavets and Benjamin Popovic. So, there's a situation for Trigla, but uh, I talked to the coach, uh, Christoph Kromayer, also a former great player, yes, former yes. national team member. I think I'm playing against him, yes. <laughs> and, and I asked him, I don't know whether you agree with him or not, but uh, I asked him uh, who's the favorite of this contest. And he said definitely Galatasaray because of the experience. Uh, mm. Maybe Trigla had a lack of uh, experience, they have a lot of youngsters, uh, but maybe that was just like uh, politeness. Also, maybe to give the pressure a little bit to the other uh, sides. But he is right because, I mean, I, when, I, when we look at the average age of the both teams, you know, Galatasaray is, uh, has a higher average age, like 26 and Karani 22. So, but they are coming from a good water polo culture. So I don't think that will be a very big disadvantage, the age for them, because I, I, we will see that they know what they, will, they are doing. Yes. So the atmosphere is uh, frenetic, and there's the first view of Galatasaray in the white cap. There is the ball first, and the first chance to lead an offensive play for Galatasaray. The number three, Alexander Petros, the one of the Serbian international. Passes the ball, gets it back. That's not too from seven years of age. That was a great and very quick uh, power play conversion. I personally like this kind of uh, usage of the man ups. Like, if there is a possibility, one pass and shot. Because when the defense gets 
sets when the goalkeeper finds his place is more getting more difficult to score. So I think it's a clever usage of Nena. Started well defensively, I think. They have a good zone. Make they make they make it difficult for Kran to see the goal. Say the same thing. Great block from the Slovenian. Maybe this time the Turks were not so patient. I was about to. I was. I think the thing that they do well in the defense. I don't think now it's still established in the attack because in the attack they need more patience. They are so much in the rush. And because it's first match at home, they want to make. But we'll see. It's a fast break opportunity now. I think you can see the nerves on the players, huh? Yeah. Because the final match, so sometimes you don't perform well at the beginning of the game. I'm sure it will be better for both sides. The good news for the teams that uh, they could have the chance to improve. Yeah. Because on the 27th of April, we're going to have the Another second match. level course in Ukraine. And there's the equalizer. <laughs> An action goal scored by Filip Svijanovic. 18-year-old guy. Level the score. Almost halfway through the first quarter. Punished the impatience of Galatasaray in the attack very well, I have to say.
Yes, the defense. Absolutely. I mean, Enkan is a goalkeeper like this. When he saves, he grows more. Like in Lithuania, he had a 70% save uh, ratio, so he needs to save more. Percentage in men up, it's kind of a deci the game decider of who will win the game, and Ege did it really well there. And I think they also the set the, the set was good, so they really put the defense down before they had the shot. I think that shows the importance of a goalkeeper should not only save the ball but also follow the game. But that was a game following save. And the, the impressions or uh, and the experience how a goalkeeper can feel yes. in advance. Absolutely. Great display. This match and they used Ege's picture, so maybe he saw that. Ah, okay. So he wants to prove his club right, huh? <laughs> okay, so the last 90 seconds in the first period. Radic, on the sky, touched by one of the defenders.
power play by the Turkish team. Yeah, so both teams have missed one six five now. A very exciting and uh, yeah. tight game so far. And one goal lead in favor of Galatasaray. Uh, after your impressions, uh, the first quarter Galatasaray started, uh, as we were talking about it, uh, very fast. Sometimes yeah. they were not patient enough. Yes, I mean, they, they had an aggressive, but on a, on a positive way, not in a negative way, an aggressive start, which was actually good for them, but I think because of the final uh, uh, psychology in the attack they should have been more uh, slick you know they, there were some rushing moments in the attack in couple of when it was 1-0 in particular it could be 3-0-4 and then Kran started to take the control of the game so and now it's a tight game still I mean if you look at the goals are almost similar 6-5s 3-2-3-2 all of them are very similar, I mean, it's like a good final game so far. You just tell us a couple of words about you because uh, we, rem we remember you as a great member of the national team and Galatasaray. Uh, you were in the Masters in Budapest in 2017. Yes, 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 yes. So, Amazing uh, are you memories. Are you close to Waterford or? I am, I am. I mean, uh, the coach, the manager are all my friends. I'm also now helping the, the women team of Galatasaray, trying to organize their, um, their setup, etc. So, yeah, I can uh, not go out of water polo. But yes, with my veterans, masters, we are still playing. And yes, 2017 in Budapest was like a dream. Opening match with the... Team Millennium, yeah. huh? and I was the goalkeeper, unfortunately. <laughs> 7,000 yeah. people watching me, <laughs> having uh, lots of goals. <laughs> yeah, many say that uh, that was uh, the best Masters water polo event ever. Uh, it yeah. was like a proper world championship, honestly. We didn't feel anything different, honestly, it was amazing. Another second swim of the arena. The setup is very, very good. Okay. It's Akaya. Atakan, yes, Atakan scored. Atakan, 
the city. Yes, yes, yes. He's a goal scorer this time. So this is a two goal lead for Galatasaray at the moment. Atakan Ege and Ege, Cholak, the guy who scored two goals, the left-handed, they, they studied in the U.S. also. They, they also played a very good water polo in the University League over there before they graduated and come back. Great chance to take the lead, take a free goal lead actually for yeah. the first time. The penalty foul was committed by Natya Stromayer, the son of oh. the head coach, Christoph Stromayer, only 16 years of age. Oh. And Marko Krustic, the veteran Serbian player, 37 years of age, makes it 5 2. Yeah. And it was a good run by Efe uh, as well on the right, right wing to get the penalty. He's very Past, you know, they so it was a 70 year old guy, who yes, a boy who, yes, uh, forced the, the penalty foul, exactly. and the 37 year old converted, converted the penalty. penalty. <laughs> 20 <laughs> years ago, <laughs> yeah. so 5 2 for Galatasaray, but uh, don't forget, big lamp, the thrilling uh, by yeah, Kreuzling in. Of sure. course. And now they have the excellent advantage as well. Alexa Petrov is out. And they only managed to hit the post. So the Slovenians have been really suffering uh, in the offensive play, scoring only twice. Almost uh, 10 minutes gone from this uh, final. And from our angle, you, you could see that the goal was yeah. going in. Yeah, but the good. last minute block was very good. Yeah, Another man good up. And it's also a penalty. Ah, exclusion followed by a penalty, huh? First it was an exclusion foul. The excluded player. He didn't realize. Another foul. Yeah. Or already excluded. So it's a five-minute penalty. And now Jan Justin has the opportunity to fight him again. Aye. Aye. Managed to do that. Almost a big save by Kio. So unlucky, so unlucky. But the Slovenian desperately needed that, that's for sure. Yeah. I mean, we are saying that, but you're right. They can even come back from 9-3, so I think until the game is finished, they are never, uh, they never give up. But I'm sure Gata's right, try to be prepared for that. So, of course. Uh, they analyzed those kind of games. So they, I'm, I, I hope that they are aware of it. I'm sure they are. That's a free throw.
the game started to heat up because you, as you can know that now more six fives, more penalties compared to first quarter. You know, I think now the team has have started to first quarter they saw each other maybe. And now they are taking the runs out. For sure, he closed it well. So, and the model of the press, the glitch. Six five. match uh, against um, Zaibas here in Turkey in Istanbul game, second match, because Zaibas started to come back. Everybody thought it's finished, but no, they start, they start. And then Atakan was the guy with two or three, again, three goals in a row. We, we, he was the guy who stopped to come back. This is, this is kind of a must in my opinion, because as I said, Kran is a team of water polo culture and then I played in that swimming pool, you know, it's, they know, the, the fans, so, they will never, never give up, they will never give up, so the, 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 the most difference you make, the better, the more comfortable you will be, so I think they have to, they have to try to do as much as possible. But not the Slovenians. Move by Justin, huh? He was pretending like he was swimming, but he wasn't, so he jumped on the ball. Atagan's heating, he, 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 most heated match maybe so far. Goal number five out of 
Eight. Yeah. Imp impressive. We saw a total of 11 goals in the previous matches of the Challenger Cup. So you say he's been waiting for the final <laughs> to show the real show, huh? Yeah. I think Bob Shore was a veteran serve, my professor, he yeah. scored 19 times uh, in the previous matches. That is the target, what no? What a story it would be. No, unlucky. Once again, just a couple of centimeters inside. I mean, just inside. It, it is Atakan's day, but it surely is not Khan's day so far. I mean, I mean, unlucky. He's, he's not, I'm not saying that he's not making good saves. He is, but the luck is not with him today, looks like. But yes, for the Challenger Cup, I, absolutely, this is... Uh, the aim for the Turkish uh, Water Polo Federation to have both titles at home, you know, and that will be a very good inspiration for any other Turkish team as well. So we, we're gonna rename the Challenger Cup uh, Challenger Turkey Cup. Maybe, of season. course. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> but the Slovenians have their say, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. We uh, are training back for but we are hungry for the trophy as well. As you mentioned, uh, they have the potential uh, to return the score from this kind of situation. Also for Galatasaray, in any discipline, you know, Galatasaray has uh, more than, I think, 12, 30 disciplines in sports. Our um, establishment motto is to win against non-Turkish teams. So the European Cup games are so important for Galatasaray. So this cup has a particular meaning for the club also. Tropan. Right in front of us, huh? <laughs> so the second uh, personal foul for Alexa Petrovsky. Six on five for Trigla. Tropan. Took another deflection and also Kiel had to make the save. Yes. So that's a corner throw. Another 20 seconds for Trigla. I think today, so far, the performance on the defense is good. They closed down really well. The goal. I mean, maybe we could have, as I said, could have tried uh, to to play with the front players, like nearer to the post. Look for him. What a manager to hit the crossbar. 
What a chance for Galatasaray to increase the lead. So I think uh, once again, Mihailovic can be satisfied all in all with the performance, but uh, with his latest offensive play and this uh, miss, uh, not that much. Very unfortunate. I mean, when you are at the end of the second quarter, a goal makes a five, so again, I, I think it's the same, the, the, the nervousness. I, it was like two to one, everybody passed the ball each other and then one, it's like uh, it nice. parabola, yes, yeah, I mean, I think one of them should stand up after two pass, maybe two fake and shot. When you make so much fake, you also, I think, give goalkeeper the hope, you know, that maybe I can save it, you know. Tell me something about uh, because I, I can see a Hungarian uh, yes, sign here on exactly. the ball, and I saw uh, Mr. Guyash, the former great legendary coach. Yes, uh, his uh, photo on the wall. So, how is it with Galatasaray? No, I mean, and, uh, even to hear even to hear his name makes me goosebumps. So, uh, he's, he's I think a Guyash, the former yes, he's he's the revolutionist of the, the actually not only Galatasaray but uh, Turkish water polo. I mean, when he came. Uh, to take the charge of Galatasaray back in uh, 1987 or something like this, so it was back in then. Galatasaray water polo wasn't so strong in Turkey, you know, we were third always. And the other two teams, Yuzme Itisas and Adalar, always competing for all age groups. And then he came and after three years, he made this revolution, he changed all the system, training, even our fooding, you know, our, 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 how to eat, you know, we learned everything from him. And then the legacy, his legacy continued throughout the years. And now I'm sure, he, uh, now, you know, we, we lost him a few years ago, unfortunately. Uh, I'm sure uh, he is also watching this game with lots of uh, emotion, because thanks to him, our water polo, the other water polo is in this level. Well, uh, polo fans can remember even the uh, great Champions League uh, march uh, back in 2012-2013 uh, mm -hmm. uh, when uh, Galatasaray had a really fantastic team like Slobodan Nikic and many yes, other great yes. players. Uh, they managed to qualify uh, from the group stage yes, to the I last remember. 16 and also to the last eight then. I remember, BTC, yeah. Just Kazan, yeah. Very strong uh, Russian team that time. Uh, and they played against you in the quarterfinal. Um, that was maybe the the best season, the top season of Galatasaray Ever, in the yes. history. Absolutely, and we had uh, lots of great foreign players as well by then. So we had the Champions League uh, wildcard option and we used it very well, I think, at these times. So, yeah, but then after we, we took a little bit down to re-establish the group, uh, the club again, need some youth systems, etc. So now they are back. So I think this, as I said, this Challenger Cup, we see it as a good opportunity to get back to that level again after a few years maybe an interesting uh, actually maybe that explains a bit this 8-4 the the performance of uh, the six fives are interesting so Galatasaray so far playing 71 percent but Kran is playing with uh, 25 percent so maybe that also made the this different the, the goal difference to be like this it's interesting Yeah. Number nine, that's a penalty. And that's a Marco Kristic with the conversion. The Serbian player scores once again from the spot. And this is 9 4 for Galatasaray at the beginning of the third quarter. Certainly 9 3. Uh, you know, you, you took my word out of my mouth, yeah. right? I was about to say, now Galatasaray should only think about this. They <laughs> that they had the capability, again? yeah, exactly. So, I think now the defensive game is more important than ever. They were really on the edge of uh, elimination. Yes. In the, in the but that was very fantastic comeback. There is a big fight going on in the center. As a result, one well, now, yeah. So, first personal foul for Patin Acha. Well, 
Beton is a good name for a goalkeeper if it's Turkish, because beton in Turkish means concrete. Yeah. So it's like a concrete wall, huh? Or it's a good goalkeeper name in Turkey. Yeah. 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 Beton. Yeah. 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 I remember. I'm not sure. It can be also a Turkish origin. Maybe. Yeah. Like a beton now. Now this is the second time he interfered with the game and got the ball. He reads the game, no? Huh? He, he reads. Yeah, he reads the game. I think that's important, you know. I mean, even in like other sports with goalkeepers, like in football, and they, the goalkeepers have become more and more, more than saving the ball. So this is a good example. So this quarter so far is kind of a swimming training for both sides. Yeah. Not many whistles and actions. Yes. Only one so I think from now on, who can swim better might have a good fourth quarter, or even the rest of this. Another six to five. the correct timing for a timeout because it's a good opportunity to make six the difference yeah, and those two. Yeah, sorry. sorry because they were swimming a lot like as we have just spoken in and out in and out so I think it's a time for team to have a rest. like a, a rest a breath and then get the special tactic because usually every coach they have special tactics for timeout uh, six to fives so let's see how it ends up sorry the coach uh, can call for a timeout twice in a game whenever they want. So, uh, no matter which quarter. So now it is 1-1, one, one, huh? 1-1 right. oh, one, one timeouts. Exactly. That's going to be a man up situation for Galatasaray. Ahead. 
Two great saves. saves. Holding on the game. But can the teammates uh, take advantage of that? Yeah. I think for a goalkeeper, yeah, for a goalkeeper, it is frustrating sometimes. You know, when you save a lot of balls like this, and if the team doesn't respond similar, you know, it can get really frustrating. Let's see if Kran can help their goalkeeper now. first gave a penalty yeah, but then he saw another sorry. player nearby so maybe he thought it is not a, a perfect goal chance so that's why he changed the decision to 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 man up uh, rather than penalty Stromayer was uh, complaining about something yeah but the point is for the first time that that's why I have a six goal lead The defensive game getting more and more important now, but so far they are doing great in defense, I have to say. Again, look, not many chances being created. Also, his father was a great water polo player, Janet's father. I mean, I think this quarter from Krang, the best player is Beton by, I think, without any but that's debates. Yes, I think they have to. Scoring any goals. But, it, but this time I have to say they had a good uh, attacking play. They they passed the ball well, you know, played the game all around, and so it's a deserved, well deserved goal. But yeah, we, you are right. Out of five goals, only two balls hit the net. Yeah. Three goals didn't hit the net. <laughs> you know, I'm all, you see, I'm always looking from a goalkeeper perspective because I was a goalkeeper. So yeah, yeah, yeah. and that and that really makes a goalkeeper very angry because if they, are, if they score me they should score a good goal to me now, not like one centimeter inside but anyway goal is a goal that means uh, the first goal of the club for this quarter yes beton is playing an amazing match now this quarter before he wasn't so Tries his best here. Yeah. Give support his team. Petrovsky. They start a very aggressive zone. Right? They leave. They leave, leave lots of space for that as like Oh, 
de hit de net bij Oli. Ja, voor de bal. Voor de bal, I think they will control the situation. The, uh, not the previous, but the one before, nine up, six to five. I said, Kran was closing really well, so they should try to play with the inside players. Now Galatasaray did it well. This uh, in this uh, out of uh, six to five, they play with inside players. But I think after the goal, there was kind of a little push up under the water, so it ended up. And he's one of the key players, one of the national team members. It's a Galatasaray Enka final loading for sure. And Enka is an amazing team as well. I mean, they have very good international players and also. And the last edition of the yes, edition. yes, yes, yes. So uh, it's going to be, I think, a very tough final for both sides. So far, four games have been played in the league. Galatasaray won three, lost one. Actually, the only team, the only match that Galatasaray lost against Enka was in the swimming pool. Funny enough, because. They played one here, one away, and two in a neutral swimming pool. So, but... Find the system in the final. Yeah, that will give an advantage to Galatasaray to start 1-0, the, the final. And best of uh, seven, I mean, the, the, the one for my best of six. The three win will make uh, a team a champion. Galatasaray need two, two wins, two, two more victories, yes. But I, I expect a very, very... Uh, unpredictable, exciting, and tough game final. Really. country like Turkey, it is very important to participate, to be there, to see the big boys, you know, but also in the meantime to, to win against the teams that are closer to you, which we have managed to do that in a couple of editions beforehand. But unfortunately, as yes, you're right, we lost the uh, qualification, round. I think it was in Israel. So we, we become third after Israel and Ukraine. So that was a big push. And I think the, the Federation cannot think of anything else than going back there, you know, to be part of the big boys and also to have a, as 
good as possible position in the in the ranking. Oh, sorry. A trophy like that could be a boost. Yeah, yeah, of course. That that gives a lot of that gives a lot of aspiration to the young generation. You know, a European Cup, a final. You know, so. Maybe I shouldn't have said that metaphoric uh, comparison, you know. Since then, he never let the life easy for Galatasaray. And I think it was in the last quarter they made the comeback or something. I don't know, yeah, but yeah. Third, 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 third. At the end of the third and fourth, yes. So a great game today, the center of Galatasaray. He had six men up, one, and then one penalty one. So I think it, it cannot be a better indirect contribution to the score line. Now it was the number two, the made the block, but I think there was a confusion on who was excluded. I think two players went up, but only one excluded. I think. Yes. Yes, you see? One excluded, but two players went out. So. Yeah. Now it's settled. Yeah, so it's not the number nine. Yeah. Checking the situation. Or confirming the call. Now, this is a 6 of 5. All the bounce going in here. It's in the middle, of course. The captain, yeah. But I would, I would say minimum 50% to FA. It was an amazing pass. To other and, uh, young. I can tell you, uh, the Vodafone fans that uh, next to me often already showed it some uh, five, six seconds before that crucial pass. Yes, and yes, yes, yes. Yes. And yes. And he got the ball. Yes, exactly. Also there in the water, yes. Yeah. <laughs> But I, I would never be a coach. This is, no. I think it's a crazy job. I mean, I respect all the coaches. Why crazy? I'm positively speaking. I think it's a big responsibility. Because when you're a player, you never only... Never say never. Yeah, but when you're a player, you only think about the game that you are going to play. And then after the game, you are... Home. But the coach, as soon as the game finished, they start thinking about the next game, plans and things. That's Too much of a stress for me. I can't sleep and... Yeah, exactly. It's good to make a comment like this. <laughs> I'm happy here. <laughs> so, uh, seven goal advantage. 
Mm. A good goal. So, Jan Justin on the back of the net. Now Galatasaray 12, Triglav 6. But this team looks like, uh, I mean, for me, too big uh, advantage, too big difference between the teams uh, from the view of the second yeah. level. I agree. That I was actually thinking, what, what would I after speaking of and being coach or not? I would should I would I would I prefer to keep the score line like this or try to make it bigger? I mean, if when you play against Grand, I think this you, you shouldn't risk maybe too much. So much six seven goal margin can be enough there or not. We'll see. But we'll see how what kind of strategy will uh, Mihailovic will take. Five minutes to go. Yeah, a little long time. Good pass. Six seconds on the shot clock. Oh, yes. Mark a track clock. And they will gain the seven goal lead. There must have been a block fault. As you can, I can read from Beton's talks. I don't speak Slovenian, but because he couldn't even take his hand out. So that means the block was not properly placed. So Marco must have shot. He could do nothing about it. Yeah. Marco Krstic, who converted the two penalties previously, now with an action goal. Yeah, two unexpected action goals in a row. One for Kran and one for Galatasaray. Also, Kran goal was an unexpected action goal. So. They couldn't see the goal. Exclusion because he swam on the ball. So now, really the second personal foul for Mishra. And I think our angle was perfect to see where he shot, but there was only, I think, enough place for a ball to go through, and he found that spot. So that was a really clean shot. So a good one. Almost halfway through the last quarter. We can hear them upstairs, yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be a good night for them. In, uh, yeah, they, it's so, it's so yeah, it's, it looks like it's going to be lots of hope at the end of the, this match for the cup. First ever European Cup for any Turkish um, male water polo team, you know, men's, because as you said, in women, Ibebe, and next year is our target in Galatasaray to get women challenger cup from Izmir to Istanbul. So we'll see if we can do that. Yeah. We wish all the best for you, but of Thank course you. for the drivers as well. Yeah. Let's see how. Right. 
As soon as they kill their impatient attitude after the second quarter, they started to show the difference, which is giving a lot of hope now for the second match in Kran. Championships, uh, one of them in Slovenia and Krani 2006. Yeah. And also in uh, Budapest 2006. No, it was in Belgrade 2006. Belgrade 2006. I was yeah. I was there to watch. We were we didn't play. Yes. But he was the the captain of that uh, Slovenian team. team. We watched the final match. I think the final was between Serbia and Hungary. Hungary. Yeah. But Serbia had a very good good team that time as well. Yeah. All this Shafik, Shapic, Olympic yeah, final yeah. that uh, yeah. Them yeah. beat the Hungarian. Yeah. What do you expect when you show up in the Olympics? Uh, Look, I mean, it, it is getting more and more unpredictable, uh, in my opinion, before Everybody was saying, okay, it's either going to be like Hungary, Serbia, Croatia, yeah, yeah, exactly. And now there is Greece, there is Italy, there is always Spain, Montenegro, France, they have improved a lot. I think that's six to five that they lost after second pass. It was a bit show of a frustration maybe. Uh, let's see if they are going to miss that in the second match or not. Because I think in these games, in two leg games, every single position has a meaning. Another loss. And, and maybe a goal now. Yeah. Probably. He didn't go down. He waited. Yeah. Uh, yeah, last and left. I mean, he wants to maybe do another goal in the last attack, so I think it makes sense because he has, I mean, has as we say between us, it's better than to take, uh, take it at home, the timeout. To use it for something yeah. good, you know? If I have the opportunity, why <laughs> yeah, not? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sometimes I don't really understand the coaches, uh, like in uh, national competitions, uh, they have a 15 goal lead. Yeah. And uh, it's the last minute and they still properly time out. What they can do, what they can tell the players, but of course, uh, that could be an interesting situation as well to practice or. And you can, I mean, yeah, in that case, you can give also away to your players who have not played. 
if it this time out, even if for a few seconds, at least the, to get wet, you know. So if it's a good game, so to to share the feeling. So one last chance for Galatasaray. Yeah, the last for another goal. That will be number 15. I think we are going to see the last possession of the match, unless there's a steal, because there's only three seconds difference between the attacking time and the scoreboard. So there's no need to be in a rush, because uh, yeah. time. You see? But there it is. Not steal, but a control foul, yeah. yeah. So still one more chance for Trudeau. Making too much in the past. Good sound. Good sound. There you go. Almost perfect. That's I should say. That's my dream. Next turn to the final. First match. Here is the move. And that's what they... Their aim was to be able to be the big leader. They were big leader for the second leg. Uh, absolutely. And uh, I mean, statistically speaking, Galatasaray did as good as all season in the uh, in, in the cup. They had uh, 14 goals per game, so they did. And they considered less than their average. So I think they did a great job in defense, as we talked during all the match. Uh, whereas I think Kran, they need to review this match very seriously to, to see what we can, they can do for the second uh, leg. Which is going to be, I think, another excitement. I don't think it's going to be easy. I mean, maybe somebody says eight goals. That's it. No, I don't believe that. So yeah, because we'll they can see. say that the uh, big club uh, can 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 do more. So you know, we know that maybe today they've been yeah, under I mean, that level. Absolutely. I mean, maybe the the, the comeback that they did in Kreuzlingen in two quarters, maybe they can do in an entire match in, in Kran. So Galatasaray needs to take it very seriously, as if this game was draw. So we're going there to win, to win the cup. Otherwise, it's going to be a problem. Yeah, the coaches say uh, in these kind of situations, uh, that match will start at from 0, zero Exactly, no? exactly. It has and to no be. no problem 14 to 6. But anyway, the final score here in Istanbul, it's really going to decide 14 and uh, Frank 6. Uh, how did you enjoy this uh, whole commentating? I mean, it, that was good. I mean, that I, I did it only oh, once in my life. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I did only once in my life. It was at Universiade in Izmir in 2005, I think, but it was in Turkish. So I hope uh, I managed to give valuable comments, valuable support to you. So... It was really another pleasure to me. Uh, Same so here. Welcome, Daniel. Thank you very much for the expert service and for this cool commentating. And uh, see you next time somewhere. See you next time. Are you going to be in Quran? Yeah, yeah, me too. But I will be in the uh, uh, crowd this time. But yeah, we'll see you in the crowd. Then. Okay, thank okay. you. Thank you. And, uh, nice. Thank you for your attention. The Voto Polo fans, so that was the first leg of the Land Challenger Cup final in the men's competition. So we'll be back, of course, with the second leg on the 27th of April from Crying. But bye for now. Bye bye. Thank you for everything. Fantastic. Sometimes.